Welcome to the Hygienic Art Park. Happy Thursday. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jake. My name is Rick Koster, and I, uh, I'm from The Day. We're streaming live at theday.com, and lunch will be served at some point, I hope. The incredible vanishing pizza is not here yet, but they're always here. Trust them. Today we are very uh, privileged to have with us uh, a singer-songwriter who is blossomed, not deary-like, but sort of deary-like, over the years. Okay with that. This is Daphne Lee Martin, of course, and over Frost and Moxie, your bookend albums that, that have been the last two releases, you've just sort of enchanted me with your songs. And you've always been good, but you're, you're, you're moving it. It's rocking, so. Of course, we have Isaac Young over here on the keyboard. Say hello to Isaac. Danny Mata, working the Buddy Bolden back of town horn section. And Brad Bensko on bass. We're glad you guys are here. Stay cool in the shade because it ain't that cool up here. This is Daphne Lee Martin. Thanks. Thank you so much, Rick. And thank you guys for coming out here. It's pretty toasty. Um, we're going to play a song off of the new record, Frost. It, uh, it's the first cut. It's called Little Birds.
very much. Uh, we're going to do a song next from uh, the record that came right before that one, Moxie. The song is called Belly. Kind of based loosely around uh, Gertrude Stein's uh, book of prose, uh, Lifting Belly. Something my grandfather told us as kids. 
You know, if you pitch a temper tantrum, you're not likely to get your way. Catch more flies with honey than you will with vinegar. I always thought that that would be a good song hook, and sure enough. It's called Smile at Perfect Strangers. You guys were joking at the beginning of the set. Can we call it Sweat on Perfect Strangers today? <laughs> How's it under the shade out there, you guys? Pretty? Nice, yeah. I love shows in the art park. What a great place this is. There is, a, there is an art opening in the gallery tomorrow night, so y'all should come back and check that out as well. 
almost every Saturday. Great stuff from all over the country. Excellent band. Thank you guys for coming out on a Thursday live lunch break. I'm Rick Coster. We're streaming from theday.com. And don't forget, when you go home and feel nostalgic for these magical moments, just go on theday.com's archives and you can revisit them again and again, as I imagine that all of you will do at some point. So, Italian Express is here. I'm, they may already be out of the chicken parm grinders, but the very summer friendly salads are on sale and several of you have already figured out that they sell beer. It's a great thing. <laughs> so, Daphne Lee Martin, uh, we're glad to have her here today. Not only does she sort of manage the art park with her husband, Rich Martin, but very shortly you're gonna go on not one, but then a second tour that's gonna have you out of here till around Halloween, right? That's right. Tell me about that. Uh, well, I am uh, going to be traveling for a couple of weeks with Pocket Vinyl, another local act here that's really fantastic. Uh, One-man piano band, uh, an onstage painter, 
we're going to go out to Ohio and back. And then I'm going to go out with a, a young lady named Hannah Fair, and we're going to make it all the way to Florida and back <laughs> on that run. That's, uh, takes you, yeah, it takes you through October, right? Yeah, huh? about seven weeks out. Speaking of Florida and the South, and this is something that I made an observation last week when the Julios were here, even though we're sitting here in, in New England, to me there is a very uh, Southern element to the songs that you write, or at least how they are arranged. Is that fair to say? That's definitely fair to say. I mean, not only am I a transplant here, I grew up in Southern Ohio, but uh, I've always just been fascinated with those song forms. I think they're really cool. I think. Uh, from the moment I, I met you and you were starting out in, in maybe a little bit of a different direction But you from the word go you, you're just a, a good songwriter. So that's that's good. We, we, that's a good place to start but your ears Are like sponges and you've absorbed over all this time a lot of different styles um, And incorporated it into your own DNA How does that work for you? Do you hear somebody and just sort of go off on a tangent? Uh, songwriting wise or is it just magic or what it's different every time i mean uh i own the record shop across the street with my fella and uh so i'm kind of constantly listening to new things every genre any genre uh all the time i feel like i've got just this enormous file box in the back of my mind and when it's time to look for a bridge i look into the file box and i maybe i'll find black sabbath maybe i'll find john hyatt <laughs> you never know <laughs> i was gonna say you find, find plenty of black sabbath i don't know those are moving real fast <laughs> I am glad that uh, the weather's beautiful today. It's a little hot up here on stage, but sometimes we have to move indoors at the Telegraph if the rain's happening or it's off season. And the last time we had you guys here, uh, Isaac was, of course, with the band. And how many album sales did you run up that day? Isaac, he bought like 85 records that day, didn't he? <laughs> so if you haven't been to the Telegraph, it's right across the street. It's a tremendous place to get vinyl. Uh, let me ask you a little bit. The last two albums, Frost and Moxie, were sort of bookend thematically. Uh, almost two different aspects of, of a quasi-fictional personality. Is that fair enough to say? Yeah. That's, Talk that's about those records. Uh, the idea between Frost and Moxie of being qualities uh, came from a boyfriend of mine back when I was living in New York when I was a teenager. Uh, I moved to the big city when I turned 18 thinking, <laughs> strap the guitar on my back, Star I'm going to make it. Yeah. Make it in the big city. And uh, well, that was a foolish notion. But uh, I did make a lot of friends. And one of, the, one of those friends said to me, uh, you know, what I like about you is you have, you have moxie, but you also have frost. Moxie meaning chutzpah, verve, you know, the right. ability to take risks. And uh, frost being the ability to roll with the punches when they come <laughs> and take it. Not a bad combo. Yeah. Right. So you're also recording right now yeah. and what because I, I saw I think you posted on Facebook that I, I love the aspect of someone that's a musician that is so uh, enchanted by and invested in the, the process that you never stop learning and we sort of already talked about that but I saw a post where you're completely learning a new vocal technique sort of or how to work in the studio I love that idea so what did you learn I, I learn stuff every single day. Yesterday, Brad and I were sitting down trying to solve uh, how to quantize a, a beat in, uh, in Logic. It's, there's always challenges. You, you don't just learn how to sing or write songs in this business. You have to learn how to build websites and market yourself and record yourself and fix your instruments and fix your van, <laughs> things like that. So. Uh, I think it's tremendous. And uh, all kudos. We are, of course, talking to Daphne Lee Martin um, because Music is a, is a beautiful thing. If you want to just sit and make it in your living room, that's great. If you want to make it in the business, that's great too. But you are going for it, and I'm really proud of you for that. And uh, it makes me happy. And good luck with it. So thanks for being here at Live Lunch Break. And we're going to turn it back over to Daphne and her band. And you know what? It's going well. It's a little hot. But if you want to roll a little further than the four songs, just <laughs> let me know when you want to get off. All right. That sounds uh, awesome. Daphne Lee we'll Martin, thank you guys for being here. <laughs> thanks, Rick. Big thanks to Jim Carpenter for doing sound. The Julios were here last week. If anybody caught that set, it was fantastic. And if you haven't heard them yet, you definitely should. Uh, this is another one off of Moxie, the first of those two records we've been talking about. It's called Molotov. Another uh, literary reference based off of a Henry Miller novel called Crazy Cock. Oh, Savior, is my 
Obviously, a very good bass player as well. <laughs> uh, we've got to do what we'd like to do for you. Also, off the new album. And uh, if you guys would like to take that home with you on vinyl or on CD, just come on up to me after we get some. I'm 
missed you so badly Wanted you to be mine Oh, I've been a fool But I will be true And I still want you Whispers in the dark, promises you'll never keep. I saw you walking in the park in your sleepless reverie. But you know she'll love you like me. Those easy lies you see, she. All of your whispers in the dark All my things that cannot be Like the beating of a heart We'll never see But you know she'll never love you Thank you. 
whispers in the dark Our promises you never keep oh, So you walk in the park In your sleepless reverie But you know she'll never love you
she's shrugging. We got time for one more? All right. Here's another sweetheart of a song off of the new record as well. It's called Make It Rain. Again, thank you guys so much for coming out. I hope I can just convince that class to stay there for the next five minutes.
the band once again is uh, Brad Bensko over there on the bass. Danny Mata on the trumpet. That's Isaac Young on the keys. And Daphne Lee Martin. Thanks again, everybody. And Dan, thank you guys so much. It sounded tremendous. Jimmy Carpenter around the sound back there. Uh, thanks again for joining us for live lunch break. Every Thursday, this is starting to happen. It means a lot to us at the day and, of course, to the Hygienic Art Park and to the artists. Next week, we have Josie Davis, so another fine chanteuse, if I may use that word. Um, Hygienic Art Park is a great place to see all kinds of events. Saturday night, Jesse D is here, a tremendous soul singer. Sunday, I believe, it's the Angkor Cambodian Dance Troupe, and that is a really fantastic event, family friendly. They don't say Cambodian, they always say Polish. I, I did say that, yeah. Um, so, what she said too, and uh, we do appreciate you guys being here, so we'll hopefully we'll see you next week. Thanks so much to Carlos and Carlos for getting it right in the house, and always to Italian Express for lunch. Go see them. They're over by Shaw Cove. Tremendous stuff. You guys be well. Have a great weekend.